Hey, what's up, YouTube? All I expect here. So today I'm gonna be sharing with you another list of awesome CDR tweaks. So the first one on the list go by the name Cellular Monitor. Cellular Monitor it lets you um um monitor your cellular data um when you are about when you are about to go over it sends you a notification. So after installing it from CDR, you have to go to your settings and configure it out the way you want it to be so let's look for it here cellular monitor right here so from here as you can see if you want to receive your first warning you can set it to 200 megabytes from here you can change it to any number you want depending on your um, data plan so you can change the second notification here it says 500 if you want you can put more or you can put less and you can have your final warning like at 1000 which is 1 gig so here it shows you your current usage and here it says like it can reset the counter in like monthly so you can decide to turn that on and you can also um from here um write the next reset date and here you have the reset interval which is 30 days and you can put more or less so this tweak is like very important especially if you don't have like much internet you are on like the economic plans so this will like really notify you when you are about to go over so i really recommend it if you like and if you are like using well not very much of an internet so this will be great for you because it always remind you you are about to run over your data plan so that is cellular monitor so the next tweak is um calypso so calypso it's like um sprintomize but like a simpler version of it um, it lets you customize um, your device so after installing it you have to like go to your settings and open Calypso and when you are using iOS 9 I recommend you use um, Calypso too so from here you can enable it and here you can decide to hide um, your mobile carrier logo and here the dark settings you can like enable it to add up to five icons in your dock and here if you go to like your Twitter settings and here is a page setting you can decide to disable all this dock and from the rotation setting you can decide to have the iPhone 6 plus dock rotation um, enable lock screen rate rotation and then iPod dock rotation so from here you have like a lot of things to like set it out to anyhow you like it and you can disable the spotlight search and here you can remove icon labels and all this good stuff so in order for this to take effect after you like select all those that you want or you can just select everything here you have to re um, respring your device in order for them to work and obviously I'm not going to do that because I'm using the recorder except everything have to like stop so that is it I hope you guys will check it out um, so the next tweak is um aerials so um Arial Arial LS sorry Arial LS I hope I'm seeing this right so Arial LS when it's a lock screen tweak when you lock your screen your clock you're gonna have like this so this is it and from here you can go to your settings and configure things out so areas ls area ls so from here you can change the clock face setting and you can like 
select digital analog or just text which I'm having recently so from here you can like or add all this thing anyhow you want it and you can decide to change the font setting so I think this like gives it gives you give you the I mean a lock screen a kind of great great touch and from here you can decide to set um a passcode if you want so and other settings well here you can just configure it any how you want it from here as you can see there are a lot of options to choose from so that is um aerial lock screen i think it's like really cool so the next tweak is login if you look at when i lock my screen here i'm having my channel logo here i set it and the name there so here i can be able to access my device with a password so like the way i set it and boom here we are so you can go to your settings from the settings that is where you like set all this thing up so log in and enable it and go to configurations so from here in the configurations so when you tap here it's gonna let you to add um a photo which I've already done that and then here you can set a username and a password here so and if you like again you can decide to use a number pad so I think this is like a really good look to a device I really recommend it if you want to achieve this look I mean like it just awesome And boom so that is login and the last trick that I'm gonna be talking about is called app admin so app admin it lets you downgrade applications from the App Store to their lower version for instance maybe you updated an applications which you updated an application and Maybe from the CDR, there, the newest version in which that you updated to, there is the tweak isn't working for that. So this app admin will give you the chance to downgrade back to your former version of the iOS app. So all you have to do is to just open the app from the app store. So if you tap, if you hold press, it, if you press it and hold it, it's going to give you this options here so from here just tap on downgrade so when this should open up you can like select any version of the application that you want to downgrade to so as you can see here there are a lot of options in which I can downgrade Facebook if I want to but I'm not going to do that so this is a really really important um, tweak for you to use and it's going to give you the chance to like maybe there are some applications that are no longer on the um what is it called on the app store so you can just downgrade to the former version of those applications or from here you can block all updates if you want to so i think this is really great and that brings me to the end of this video i hope you enjoy it please don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching